guys, it is me Stace. Today I want to share with you my design team project for May May Made It. The theme this month was to create fun fold or fancy fold cards and I have a really fun one for you. This one here is called a wiper card. This is the front of the card. When you pull on the sides you will see it pops up acting like a windshield wiper. Really fun little card. Alright, so the first thing you want to need are two pieces of cardstock for the base of the card. These both measure four and one fourth by six and three fourth. Then we have our black pieces. You want two of those. These both measure four and one eighth by four and seven eighths. A black square, two and three eighth by two and three eighth. And a black strip. This one measures four and one eighth by seven eighth. Then we have our white pieces. You want two of them. These both measure four by four and three fourth. A white square, two and one fourth by two and one fourth. A white strip. This one measures four by three fourth. Then we have this white piece and this one measures two by two and three fourth. All right, so we're gonna first grab all of our white, take our black and set that aside and grab our card base pieces. And we're gonna do some scoring. I'm gonna bring in my Cricut trimmer along with my bone folder. And we're gonna score these on the long inch side. The first one is gonna be at one inch and then again at one and three fourth. So first one inch, then move it down to one and three fourth, and score it again. You wanna do the same for the other piece as well. So again, one inch, get it lined up, score that, and then one and three fourth. All right, we are done with that. We can set the trimmer aside. All right, now we have two score marks here. You want to fold one of them going one way and then the other one going the other way. You just take your bone folder and give it a really good crease. Okay, do the same for this one. So again, I have one going down and one going up. Okay, so when you're done, you will have a piece that looks like this. Hopefully you can see that a piece that looks like this. Okay, and that's going to create the card. This is the card kind of goes together like that. So you have this piece is the front, this piece is the back. They get sandwiched together and make the windshield wiper. All right, now we're going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and do some stamping. And the stamps that we are using is called the Bees Knees, one of my all-time favorite stamp sets. We'll be using the Honeycomb, the Trail, the Bumblebee, and a Greeting. I'm going to bring in my white piece, and again, this is the larger of the white. I'm going to grab the honeycomb and some yellow ink. I'm just going to stamp the honeycomb all over this white piece. Just going in different directions so we're not creating a pattern. few more right here. Okay, so that white piece is done. That's for the front of the card. The other white piece is for the back of the card. Again, I'm going to go back in with that honeycomb, stamp the honeycomb on the bottom right corner on a little bit of an angle. And we're going to grab that white strip, the same honeycomb and the same yellow ink. So that part is done. We can set that aside. All right, now we have the two and one fourth by two and one fourth. I'm gonna grab the VersaFine black ink and the little bumblebee, ink him up really well, then stamp him down, straight down, straight up. I'm gonna grab the little trail, and I wanna have it like a relaxed mode. Ink that up. And I'm going to bring in my scrap paper again to stamp the trail. I'm going to do another little piece about right there. All right, so that piece is done. That's the front of the card. All right, so I think we're done with the stamping for right now. Let's go ahead and close all this up. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take our stamped white piece with our black piece. I'm going to grab some art glitter glue. We're going to glue these two pieces together. Yep. 
stick my pin in there and unclog it. Oh, the girls must hear something, so I apologize if they're going to bark. Yep. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so we have those, those two pieces glued together. Let's grab our back panel. Now, if you want to, like you can see on mine, I also stamped the bubble bee. It's up to you if you want to do that. And the back piece is also optional. You don't have to add this, but I figured the part that pops out is so small, I like having a larger area to write my message. Okay, so we have that piece and that piece done. Let's take our white piece and the black piece, and we're going to, again, glue these two guys together. Just get them lined up the best you can. Okay, so that is done. All right, so now we have those. Now I'm gonna go back to my card base. Now again, we have the larger part on the right and the two score marks here. I'm gonna stamp in that center. And I'm gonna grab that bumblebee trail. I'm gonna grab a white real quickly and just kind of clean it off a little bit. And what I wanna do is stretch this out I have it nice and stretched so it's more straight and skinnier. Grab the black ink. I'm going to go back in with my scrap paper behind me and ink this up and stamp this in the center of that piece. Just to add something here, and I'm not too worried about it being perfect, it's okay. All right, so we have, looks like that. All right, now we're going to take our white front panel with a stamp piece for the front and adhere that down. And I love the yellow and black together. There are also Steelers colors and the Steelers did win last night. Hubby didn't think they were going to. I'm filming this on a, two, on a what day is this? Tuesday. Yeah, so they won Monday Night Football. All right, glue this one on the other side. You can, of course, add, you can leave that blank if you want to. I just thought it needed something in there. All right, so there's the front. Let's take our black square and glue that one down. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the center on an angle. All right, so that piece is done. I'm gonna save this one for later. Now we're gonna work on assembling it. Now this might be a tad bit confusing. Let me kind of clear my way here. All right, so you have the front of the card like this. Okay, you wanna flip it over, take a ruler, let me find a ruler, and measure up about one and three fourth inches on the bottom. So one and three fourth, and just put like a little dot there. Nobody's gonna see that but us. Okay. So do you see there, the front of the card, you wanna flip it over from the bottom here, measure up one and three fourth, that's where my little dot is. Now we have this piece. Now what I did to make this part easier, because you want to score a triangle out of here, I took a piece of black car sock, I cut that down about 3 fourth by 3 fourth, maybe a tad bit smaller, cut this square in half, now I have a triangle. I'm going to take the triangle, put in the upper left hand corner of this white piece, hold that down, take my bone folder, and just score along that black piece there. Okay, so I can see my score mark. Go ahead and fold that down, crease it really well, come back the other way and again crease it really well. You want this piece to be almost flimsy-like, okay, so you can see that. We have the triangle here, hopefully you're able to see that. I'm going to flip it over and grab some sticky strip and put that on that triangle piece we just made. Take my bone folder, take this off. Lift it up, and now I'm just going to fold over any extra glue I might have on that triangle. Okay, so once again, front of the card, flip it over. From this part here, you want to measure up one and three fourth. Take the white piece, score a triangle in the upper left hand corner, and then put adhesive on the back side. We're going to line up this part of the card with this first score mark along with that dot, that one and three fourth inch mark. Okay. And I'll bring this up so you can see it better. OK, 
Okay, that's what that looks like. Okay, so now when you see, when you fold this card down, that part goes in. Okay, that's, that, that's what creates a little wiper. So I'm gonna fold this in and just press that down really well. Okay, now I'm gonna open it back up and stamp our greeting up here. And I have a piece of glue there. Okay, so the greeting I'm, I chose was B positive. We're gonna grab the black ink again and just stamp that up there. Okay, so that part of the card is done. So we have the front of the card, our greeting, and the wiper mechanism. Let's grab the back part of the card. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna flip the, white, the front of the card over, grab your glue and put glue on this first area. You can use a sticky strip if you want to, but I do think the art glitter glue is fine for this. I mentioned before, it's a really strong glue, plus it dries quick, or dries um, quickly, but also gives me wiggle room. All right, so we have the front of the card, the back of the card. You wanna make sure this score mark is on the other side, and then just line these two up. Okay, if my instructions are, are confusing, you can always go to YouTube and type in wiper card. There are so many videos on there. I've seen this on Pinterest, and I watched a few videos, so I was able to figure it out. Okay, so we have that, okay? This part is on here. I'm gonna open the card up and put adhesive right there. And as I said, the, the art glitter glue, I think is strong enough to hold this card together, but also is a wet adhesive, therefore it gives me some wiggle room. bring these two ends together. It also does lay flat. You can just put it down like that. Just want to make sure your ends are lined up. Okay, I'm going to flip it over, make sure I'm nice and even. And we are. Okay, so now we have the card. It's nice and flat. Just push it together and you will see that creates the mechanism. Now to fold it, to put in the envelope, you want to fold it this way, not this way, otherwise it won't fit. So if you put it this way and just press down, it this way folded, it'll fit in the envelope. I'm going to flip it over and grab our back panel and glue that on the back. That's way it finishes the card. And you can, of course, on that piece that pops up, you can add balloons or anything there. You can use like the window sheets or clear acetate to have it come up so we don't see that. All right, so there's the front of the card, the back of the card, and the pop-up. Finishing it off, we're gonna grab the bumblebee we stamped earlier. I'm gonna grab some foam squares. I'm gonna use five, one in each corner, and then one in the center. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a squish. Take the backing off. And that quickly, or not so quickly, we created the card. It really is an easy card to make, and I think it's a really fun one too. Again, another one that'll be really fun for little ones because it has that um, fun pop-up part. Now with the front piece here, if you want to, you can layer on top of the black, nice and even. I kind of go skewed a little bit, so it's not perfect, so you see more of that black. All right, so there's the card, my friends. And that's super fun. And it does stand, it stands with the greeting closed or with the greeting up, so either way you can have that. But there's that card and this card. Don't forget, if you guys want to receive the card kit for free, go to my blog, leave me a comment, and I will have, I'll pick a winner tomorrow. I will have all the sizes below for the card, also on Maymay's blog post, which is also listed below, and our Facebook group. Any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.